Hey everyone, I am Rishab and I'm thrilled to be here today. So my journey into the tech world wasn't the typical path you might expect. I don't have a computer science degree and I started my career in a very different place. I'm here to share my story with you and not just to tell you what I have done, but to show you that no matter where you start, you can achieve incredible things in this field. And this is beyond the traditional finding success on a nonlinear tech path. So I came to Canada as an international student at the age of 17, right after my high school. My journey started at St. Lawrence College in Kingston, where I pursued a computer networking and technical support diploma. But studying wasn't the only thing on my plate. As many of the international students might be aware of, you know, I was also working uh, nights at a gas station and delivering pizzas in the summer to make and meet. It wasn't easy, but it taught me a lot about hard work and perseverance. Looking back, I realized that I was pretty naive as a student. I didn't focus much during the first year of my diploma and wasn't even aware of opportunities like such hackathons. I missed out on those early chances to build my skills and network with others. As my diploma was coming to an end, I was able to land a co-op as an IT admin. The picture that you see on the right is me doing IT admin stuff at the co-op. That was my foot into the door. I was later hired full-time as technical support specialist when I was just 20 years old. It felt like a big break because trust me, I didn't want to work at the gas station and this was something better than that. And soon I realized working in tech support that I wanted more. While working in that role, I discovered cloud, specifically AWS, which our SaaS company was using. I was fascinated by the technology and decided to dive deep into it. I took up every learning opportunity, would come in early to get some study sessions in, and even attending a cloud computing conference in Toronto, which was sponsored by my employer. After building my own project and understanding how AWS was integrated into our company, I was able to transition into a cloud engineering role within the same company. And it was a significant step forward. And here is a flow diagram, but I spent the next two years in that role learning about automation, infrastructure as code, and was lucky to spend two years in cloud engineering where I learned a great deal. Eventually, I was given the opportunity to step into a DevOps engineer role where I got to focus on streamlining processes and making our infrastructure more efficient. And throughout this journey, I had incredible support of my peers and mentors, which made all the difference. And soon I realized how I lacked all of these networking skills that are possible at events such as this hackathon. Now comes my dream, right? So after a few years of growing in my career, something unexpected happened. I was surprised yet humbled when a recruiter from Google reached out to me. It felt like a dream, especially coming from a non-traditional background. I had watched countless videos about life or day in a life at Google and the idea of working there was thrilling. So I went through the interview process, system design and networking. I did well in those areas, but I struggled as you can take a guess, with the coding round. Which led to a rejection from Google. And here you can see the timeline of me telling that I have an interview on July 20th, and then we also posting an update about getting rejected in August. Not long after, I had the opportunity with Amazon, specifically AWS. Again, this was a dream. You know, I was utilizing AWS at my current job. Again, I was excited, but this time I bombed the very first interview and completely, it was embarrassing. Two rejections from two of the biggest tech companies all within three months, it was tough. 
but I didn't let it discourage me. I knew I had areas to improve and I kept pushing forward. Four months after the initial rejection from Google, they reached out again. This time, it was for an adjacent role and I didn't have to go through the entire interview loop, which took six weeks previously. This meant I did perform well on the other rounds apart from coding. I just needed to do a call with the hiring manager, see if I was fit on the team. And I guess I was lucky, but I'm also a firm believer that luck is when opportunity meets preparation. I accepted the offer and joined Google in January 2022. It was, again, an amazing achievement and I was super excited. But as it turned out, the role wasn't what I had hoped it would be. After just four months, I made the difficult decision to leave Google. Now, imagine as an international student calling your parents back home and telling them that you have decided to quit Google merely in four months. It was hard. I realized that what I really wanted to follow was my passion of teaching and connecting with developers. Something that I discovered during the pandemic when I started blogging and making videos about cloud computing. And that's when Twilio, as you can see on my hat, came into the picture. In May of 2022, I joined them as a staff developer evangelist, a role that aligned perfectly with my passion for developer relations and developer education. Throughout my journey, one of the most important lessons I have learned is the value of resilience. Rejections, trust me, are tough, and they can feel like the end of the road or the world, <laughs> but there are also opportunities to grow and learn. I didn't let those setbacks at Google and Amazon stop me. Instead, I used them as a fuel to keep moving forward. Another key takeaway is the importance of embracing opportunities, even when they don't fit the traditional mold. My path, as you can see, wasn't linear and your doesn't have to be either. Whether you're working late nights or learning new skills on the fly, every experience adds value to your journey. One thing that I wish I had known earlier in my career was the importance of participating in events like this hackathon. I missed out on those opportunities as a student because I wasn't aware of them. But you all are already on a fantastic path by being here today, building your skills and connecting with like-minded individuals. You're setting up yourself for success and that's something to be proud of. As you embark on this hackathon, I want to encourage you to take risks, push boundaries, and don't be afraid to fail. Collaborate with others, share your ideas, and learn from each experience. As we know, the tech world is evolving rapidly, and you have the power to shape its future. So let's get out there and create something amazing together. Thank you all for allowing me to share my story with you today. If there is one thing I want you to take away, it's that your unique journey is your greatest asset. Don't be afraid to follow your passions, even if they lead you down an unexpected path. Now, go out there and build something incredible. I can't wait to see what you all create. Again, I'm Rishabh, and I hope you have a great time at this hackathon.